So, I decided to make a sewing tutorial on how I'm going to make my Suna cooking outfit or cooking gear, whatever you would like to call it, from Sword Art Online. So, let's get started! So what you'll need is a sketch costume design of it, some blue fabric, some green fabric, some zippers, red ribbon, lace, the way back there, and blue, ugh, red buttons, wherever those are. First thing I did was drape the white fabric so it hung over at the top part. So I'm going to sew along this line here. Now I'm just going to sew along this line over here. Just in case you're wondering, the dimensions of this are 91 centimeters by 52. So I sewed on that line, now we're going to find the center point of the entire fabric and sew on these two red buttons. So I finished sewing both buttons on. I'm determining if I should tie on the red ribbon or sew it on. The length of the ribbon is approximately 128 centimeters. So I flipped it upside down and now I'm going to pin some lace at the bottom and sew that on. I'm just going to sew this on. Now it's time to start the sleeves. I'm cutting the fabric in half so it'll now be this big. I'm going to sew along this edge, this edge, and partly about this edge since that's a crease and that one doesn't matter. Before I forget, the measurements are 28 by 45 centimeters. Now what I'm doing is turning this inside out. So I'm going to start the other one and iron this one out as well. So what I did right here was pin on the sleeves. If you can see in there, I'm just going to sew along here after I put on the ribbon straps. I have everything draped, I'm going to sew on the straps. So basically for this, we're just going to sew it here and go to the back and sew it in the same place. I now have the straps sewn on. Next thing I'm going to do is take a sleeve or one of these rectangles and pin it to over here. Be sure that the top of the shoulder will still be bare though. Now what I'm going to do is rewind my machine with red string or thread and sew those on. I finished sewing the top with the sleeves. Now we're going to make six bows out of red ribbons to put on the sleeves. So all I'm going to do for this basically is fold it like that and then pinch it right in the middle and sew there so it creates a little bow. Each piece of ribbon, by the way, will be approximately 20 centimeters. So when you're done, you're gonna have six of these cute little bows. So I finished all six of the bows. Since this length over here is 24 centimeters, we're gonna put a bow every six centimeters. So as you can see, I finally sewed on the bows. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is add in the zipper to the back. So here I have my zipper, thread, and a needle. What I'm going to do is loop around the end of the zipper. That way the zipper won't go past it and we won't lose it. So I pin the zipper on. Now I'm just going to sew along that line with the pins. So as you can see, I put in the zipper. What I'm going to want to do now is measure from the waist where it will fall all the way down to the length you want the skirt to be. And you'll cut it there, only you want to cut it on this side because it's spraying. And on this side, as you can see, is the crease. That way you don't have to hem it. Now what we're going to do is dart it two times in the front and two times in the back. And then sew along that line at the waist. So I sewed across the edge there. And as you can see, I also did a zigzag stitch to keep the ends from fraying. The next thing that you're going to want to do is make the waist belt. So I'm using this scrap that I cut off. And I'm just going to fold it in half. So along this seam here, put them right side together and then sew along here, then go back over it with the zigzag stitch to stop it from fraying. So what we're going to do now is along this side, you're actually going to sew it shut and give or allow a half of an inch seam allowance. Press the seam open and put the zipper actually inside of it and pin it in place. And then sew along where the pins are. 
careful not to go over the zipper and to be used that zipper foot on your sewing machine. So I now have the zipper so what we're going to do is turn it inside out and remove that seam down the middle. So the zipper, I'm just going to do that all the way down. We remove the thread 